All right, so I just wanted to show this off a little bit. Um, over the past couple months, I've been working um, using a PlayStation 3 controller, a USB host shield. Um, I've been trying to get them to interface with each other with the Arduino so that I could make um, Wheatley. <laughs> and originally, I wanted to have it be wireless, um, just to use the regular connection. Um, wireless connection that the PlayStation 3 controller uses. So I looked a lot online, found several examples of people doing control using Arduino, Bluetooth adapter, the PlayStation 3 controller, and I thought, okay, sure, I'll try it. And as if, as you probably read in on the work log for my Wheatley project or um, just in any of the posts that I've talked about this, it didn't really work out too well. Uh, I just, for whatever reason, could not get the controller to keep connection with the Arduino. And so I scrapped it. Uh, I decided that I wasn't going to do it anymore. And decided to um, go with the, just the wired USB connection. But today, I want to tell you a little story of how I figured out how to get this to work. Um, a couple days ago... I was scrolling through instructables.com, very good maker website if you haven't checked that out yet. Lots of to-dos and how-tos and fun little projects. And another PS3 Bluetooth project came up, and it got me thinking that I needed to try getting it to connect again. And I read on this one instructable, he said that he had had success with a Canivo Bluetooth adapter. And so I went on eBay and I found one for $10 and ordered it, decided, ah, either it works, great, if it doesn't, I'll just uh, have a Bluetooth adapter for my computer. So, it came in the mail today. And I am extremely happy because I plugged it in to the USB host shield here, as you can see. Hold on, let's focus. Ah, there we go, Canivo in a key S USB host shield with the Arduino. I plugged it in, loaded up the basic Bluetooth sketch, and it worked right out of the box. Very first thing. No drivers, no nothing, no. It worked. And I was so happy. Very, very, very happy. And so I thought I'd make this little video and show you some of the capability. Now, disclaimer, um, obviously I don't have everything hooked up right now, so you're not going to see a lot but I thought I'd show you anyway. Now, I know it is not a good idea to hook an LED up without a resistor. I'm just throwing that out there. Don't follow my example. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I just wanted to make a quick video. I don't want to spend a lot of time wiring something up. So, just to let you know, it's plugged into A0, the analog pin on the Arduino, and ground. Okay, simple as that. Now within the code, I've got it set that whenever I push the left arrow, it's to set that pin high, or in other words, send voltage to that pin, and the, the light will light up. So, um, and the purpose for that, in controlling Wheatley with the PlayStation controller, that would be wired to the soundboard, so it could trigger um, sounds for him to talk. Okay. So, and because there's only six analog pins, he's only going to be able to have six voice lines because all the other pins are taken up by servo signals for his motion, his blinking and the handles and the faceplate and everything. So, um, but just wanted to show you how it works. So, let's plug in the Arduino here. And again, it's never a good idea to run for a long term at least an Arduino off of a 9 volt battery, but I'm going to have to put this down for a moment and I'll come right back to it. Alright, sorry about that, uh, just a quick little jump there. I got it plugged in, and as you can see, the Bluetooth adapter is on and it makes a solid blue when it's not connected. Okay, so I'll turn this around so you can watch it connect. Push the PlayStation button, does the little flashing thing, and then the Bluetooth adapter starts flashing to let you know that communication is being established, and bam! Now it's it's communicating with it. And you see the PlayStation goes solid, and that flashes, that lets you know you have communication. 
Now, the big moment. Push the left button. Boop, 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 boop. Pretty cool, huh? So it's having complete wireless control of the LED, and it's practically instantaneous, too. So, Bluetooth is a wonderful technology. So I just thought I'd upload that for you, so you could see that. Uh, the Wheatley project is moving right along. I've got 3D parts that I'm finishing right now, working with the Dremel and um, making sure everything fits and moves properly. And I'll be picking up the rest of the servos pretty soon here. We'll start getting a functional model on the way. So, rock on, Portal Fandom!